I suppose we can look at one bright side. We'll definitely be breaking the 200 barrier at some point this episode. And Sakura was floating around for a little bit for a while ago. Honestly, I was kind of surprised by that, but sometimes she'll pop up. Other times, you know, she she won't for days. Depends on her mood. I mean, usually if she does pop up, though, she spends all her time trying to escape, obviously, in the background, so... Maybe it's for the best when she doesn't pop up. Like, she'll start trying to climb the water bottle and all kinds of stuff, and I'm constantly worried she's gonna hurt herself doing that. There's not much I can really do about it. I mean, if I take the water bottle away, it may be more problematic. Um... Because last time I took a water bottle away from a hamster that's used to water bottles, they ended up just uh, dehydrating to death. So it's just not worth doing the switch. Sora, why I gave up on giving Frank a water bottle, because when I tried it, he just started chewing on it. And I really don't need him leaking water everywhere, all the time. I mean, he was raised with a water bowl, it's, it's what he's familiar with, and if you give him anything else, he's just like, what is that, can I chew on it? Heck, even when he knows what something is, he'll sometimes chew on it. Like, I'll give him an exercise wheel, and I had to take it away recently. Um, as you can see, because it's usually, like, you know, right back there. And he's like, no, no, he's chewing on it. So I'm like, like, Frank, if you're gonna just chew on your exercise wheel, I'm taking it away. And I did. I probably mentioned that, but it's just something that bears repeating. Like, I can't let him eat it. You know, as much as Frank might think he can eat his exercise wheel, he really shouldn't be. <sighs> Darn annoying brat. Well, let's uh, go for the win here. I have to admit, it's going to be pretty late by the time we get done with all this stuff. Should have started recording a bit earlier. Gosh darn it. To be honest, I think it's going to take me so long to get through the Pokemon Crystal episode. But why I got listed as Pokemon Gold, you know, in the schedule book, you know, for this month, I don't know. I just did, you know. Apparently I had a, a mind blank. Or maybe I was thinking too hard about doing a Dunsparce run. Which I've been thinking about doing in Pokemon Gold, though it might be better off going for Pokemon Crystal for that. Because at least then, you know, I can pick up, you know, Flamethrower and Thunderbolt, you know, from Bill's Grandpa. You know, from the game corner, so... There would be that. Okay, I need you to do the clearing. I didn't think I'd have to worry about it, but sometimes, you know, she plays that turtle. And I want to make sure I get some gosh darn damage on the board. To finish this duel as quickly as possible. Okay, let's just grab that. 2600 body, why not? Okay, that's not gonna be enough. We're gonna be a thousand short. Gosh darn it. Uh, well, we might be able to eke out an A ranking. It'll be close. It's gonna depend on how many cards we used up, and how they're counted against us. But, we'll play that. Okay, I can risk on the turtle. I mean, I don't need, you know, a lot of hits to win this. Just one. From anybody. Okay. And we got an armor. Gosh darn it. But you just stop giving me crap, man. Give me something I can use. Instead of like, no, you can have this. Or this. Like, Aqua Monsters aren't even useful for fusion in this game. They're only useful for, like, a couple of combos, and that's it. I'm tempted to f just trash the other two, but... I'm hoping, you know, we won't have to worry about anything too brutal. Keyword on hoping is you never know what they're going to pull out. Okay, the Raigeki helps, because at this point it gives me ins insurance. Okay, we'll take care of you. Then, you know, we'll just go for a nice, good, old-fashioned whopping. 
Though I guess she technically has some sort of like chain scythe or something by the looks of it. Though maybe that's just a black lacquered handle. You know, that's just misleading me a little bit. Uh, still won't be enough. Like even if I'd come with this one, it still won't be enough. Because you know, just four three hundred fifty points. Sure, I guess if I'd went the uh, other way, maybe that's fine. Ooh, force me into an effective attack, huh? You do you, game. You do you. Okay, just drop it. And let me, uh, give it a whopping. Those last 500 points I need. Come on, what we got? And we got Weta. Great. Another trash pack filler card. Like, seriously, a thousand attack points? <laughs> Big whoop. Yeah, I I'm used to a game where the standard was is eight was 1,800, you know? I don't know what this standard is nowadays. Probably something crazy. Okay, we're going to commit ourselves to going with a really powerful body. That we can try and end the duel early on. Though this still wouldn't be enough to deal with certain uh, ultimate blue eyes white dragon. <sighs> the true nightmare of uh, the final set. Okay. Let's just call it here. Go 2300. Enough to probably beat whatever it is. But. Not so powerful. Hopefully, you know, screw up my uh, ranking. Because I need that card. So at this point, even if I uh, do get it, I might go for a couple more matches against her anyway. Though I think I still have to go back and do some um, s tax on her for a certain equip card. Ugh, which will be its own nightmare. After all, you know, it's just... I just want to get away from dueling her. Okay, what we get? Twin long rods, okay. I don't even think that's useful for uh, twin headed thunder dragon fusions. No. Because it doesn't have any electricity coursing around it. The other long rod I think is good for that, but that one isn't. It's it's a weird sort of uh, dichotomy, but I guess that one doesn't have any electric powers. Okay. I'll take my chances on it. It might cost me the ranking game, but eh, I'm curious what she'll do. Okay, so she's going to play an ineffective trap guard. Gotcha. Well, allow me to retort. And here we go. Get hit by the fairy goddess here. I assume it's some kind of fairy. I haven't read the text in a long time. Okay. Go with that. Come on. Hit me, damn you. She's like, no, I summon giant turtle in defense mode. I'm like, I liked Island Turtle too, but doesn't mean you have to keep playing turtles. Oh, she played a field spell card. Okay. Still not enough. Plus, it just powers up my water magician. Admittedly, I mean, she was playing on powering up Twin Head Thunder Dragon. Well, that still wouldn't help. Because she'd be playing right into my gosh darn uh, trap card if she did that. And I could go in for an easy win. Oh, still got the S rank. We got another Kamori Dragon copy. Oh, we're going for a win 200. Yeah! 
We got six copies of the Kimori Dragon. Gosh darn it. I mean, not a bad card, you know, for this game, you know, for fusion efforts, but it's not the card I want. It's not the card I need. Okay, this actually would be enough to deal with the blue eyes. Assuming the game doesn't play with equip cards. And I don't get my uh, typing wrong. Okay. Let's see. Only uh, that. Okay. I want to keep you know, all the amount of cards I have on hand, you know. A little bit higher, so we don't you know go too low on the rankings. So, after all, I want to get you know that those five glorious starships if I can. I mean, I don't know if we're able to really buy anything at this point that's gonna help out too much, but I'll take what I can get. Okay, we'll play that. Run this over, and then go for the W. The 200th W. But probably still ain't gonna turn to the card I want, right? No, we got another useless goddamn Toadmaster. <sighs> got like nine of those now? Something like that? Yeah. Of course, we can go up to 999. We can go up to 99 copies, probably. Where the game caps out. It's just ridiculous. Okay, I'll do for a first move. You know, get up to 3,300. Put, a, put a, the fear of uh, the death in them, right? Because we got the Dark Witch on our side. And you know, Dark Witches are deadly. And we can bring you out with this. That ought to be enough for what we need to do. Yeah, it wasn't even Twin of Thunder Dragon, it's just another turtle. Get that 3300 points on the board. So we should be within winning range. So we draw something decent. Okay, I can Regeki that. I don't think that's gonna hurt me too badly, but we'll see. Uh, after all, you know, it does give me the advantage of having, you know, picked up a quick win. But it was also a magic card, so that was a stored tech. Yeah, it cost me the S rank, probably. But I'm okay with that. I mean, I only need A or S rank to get what I need, you know, so it's fine. A or S doesn't matter, you know, it's it's one starship less, but honestly, if I'm trying to grind for some stuff for starships at this point, it's getting pretty late and I need a lot of them. <sighs> Okay, this hand is terrible. I won't lie. I was hoping for some more powerful monsters than, you know, Sucky this night. Okay, fill the power of the sun. Okay, is it gonna overwhelm the power of the sun? No, okay. Don't play face down, it messes me up. Okay, didn't have to go that way, but... It's fine. I was worried she played the turtle. So I wanted to be prepared for it. Still in defense mode. Okay. Well, nothing I can really do right now besides do this, I guess. Please don't be turtle. Man, it's turtle. Gosh darn it. Ugh, it sucks. It merely does put me within range, I suppose, of uh, using a Raigeki, maybe. But I really didn't want that. Okay, let's just Raigeki the field. For some quick convenience. I admit, if I had a reliable way to grind for those, I'd probably go for uh, two more copies. Like, it would not be the best fit for the deck, but give me an out, you know, if I could get some powerful cards on the field. Beast King of the Swamps, why not? 
And I guess we got the time. We'll go for one more match. Of course, this is just garbage. Complete and utter garbage. Okay. Gonna try and surprise me, maybe? Um, this sucks. Okay, we'll uh, try and free up the hand a bit. That equip ain't gonna work. I wasn't even intending to make this card, gosh darn it. Well, I guess we got the Musician King on the field. Guess we'll use it. I didn't even realize you could make that with two female monsters in this game. Uh, darn it. Uh, it goes against the rules, though, so I guess we'll, I guess we'll just ignore it. it you know, it, it just doesn't count. You know, it was my mistake. I didn't realize those two were kind of fused together to form, you know, an odd musician of, you know, power here. We'll miss out on the power ballad. Just go to self. Never do that again. <sighs> Like, I guess it makes sense. Somewhat, because... Musician... King does involve the Lady of Faith in the actual card game. For part of its fusion material. Which is really bloody odd. 26, 24... No, wouldn't be enough. That, that's gonna equal up straight to 5,000. So I'm gonna have to do another turn anyway. Not unless I want to attack with the Musician King. Like I said, like, it's meant to be female monsters. You know, we violated more rules than intended. But it was unintentional, but we can't use it to attack. Like, just never make it again. I just didn't realize it was a thing. Okay. Maybe we'll have B rank. Which sucks. I mean, maybe we'll get lucky and get a low A. Because we still have 25 cards left, but... I think we're on... We're on turn 5, so the game's probably gonna punish me for it. Yep, B rank, thought so. Well, that'll do for this episode. <sighs> Next time, I guess we'll continue to battle Isis and see if we can get the card we want. Till then, see ya.